In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, an advert in Mopub. Uh, so the way Mopub works is you have a, a hierarchy of information. Uh, you have an order and within an order, there is a line item and within the line item, there are creatives. Uh, the order defines uh, what and where the advert is going to be delivered. The line item allows you to uh, divide that campaign, if you like, down into a number of sections. So you might have different adverts for that one campaign, which is the order. And then inside of uh, each of the line items, then you might have lots of different types of adverts because you might split test, you might uh, choose a text advert and, and then maybe do a video advert or a text advert and an image advert. So I'm going to show you how to put those together. So we'll start from the dashboard and what you'll do is go to uh, orders and we're going to assume at this point that you've got all of your inventory set up and that you're already delivering uh, adverts and it's integrated into your, your uh, system and that could be web or a mobile app. And let's start by clicking on add a new order and we're going to call this something useful. and you can link it to an advertiser. So bear in mind that this is built um, as a system where, to, where you can track uh, what advertising you've sold. And in advertiser, what you'll start to say is, um, well, here's the advertiser we have uh, put it together for. So we're selling advert, um, uh, advertising space on behalf of 6.5 here. When you put a line item in, you need to understand what it is uh, the, the type of the line item. So you could say it's guaranteed, uh, and that means that it's directly sold. So uh, in this case, we've sold it directly to 6.5, and uh, we have to guarantee that it gets a number of impressions uh, in a certain time period. Um, a promotional one is uh, an advert for yourself, where you might say, um, click here to rate my app, or click here for a special offer. And the promotional will fill in the gaps where you don't have any guaranteed items. If you don't have guaranteed or promotional, then you'll get a marketplace one. And uh, that can go out to the Mopub marketplace in this case, where people can actually bid on the space in your app, should you not have any guaranteed or promotional. And then we start to go down the list to the, the, the less important. Uh, we've got network ads. Uh, so you might hook up uh, Mopub through to uh, say Google double click or um, uh, one of the other advertising platforms and this one would uh, between these three sorry down at the bottom uh, are the backfillers for those things uh, so you might sell an advert at a cheap rate uh, which is a non-guaranteed which will just again backfill anything that's going on and then uh, a, a backfill might be again, some, some Google ads or something. So in this case, because we've sold this for a client, uh, we're going to use guaranteed, and that's gonna give us a, a high ranking, which means that it's important. We'll give the line item a name so we can refer to it, and this comes through in all of your uh, reporting. We'll start it immediately, and we'll run it, say, through to the end of November. Uh, we've sold this in such a way that we want to see uh, the advert get a thousand impressions. And as you can see, you can choose between impressions per day and total impressions. And then you can say, well, we've set a, a rate uh, to the client of uh, five cents. And there's two options here. CPC is cost per click. So that means that you'll pay five cents every click that goes through. Uh, and CPM is cost per impression and that's uh, how many times it's displayed. And then you can decide which way you want it to go about. So imagine if you put spread evenly in, uh, it knows that uh, we've got between today and the end of the month to get a thousand total impressions out the door. So what it'll start to do in the first couple of days is show this um, by the number of days divided by the budget. But if it's not getting enough impressions, it'll start to deliver them faster. Um, so it'll work it out based on how many views there are, how many clicks there are, and all the rest of it. If you do CPC, it'll say, I'm trying to get a thousand clicks. So if it's only getting one click a day, that advert's going to appear all the time. 
if it's getting say 100 clicks a day and we've got uh, say 30 days to get through it, it will only show it for say 70% of the day. We can then decide if there's some time targeting um, based on date uh, or day of time. So you might know, for example, that you have a peak time when you have users on, or you might send push notifications to your app. And therefore you could sell this line item at a premium and say, okay, you're gonna, only gonna get it on a uh, Friday night um, to our nightclubbing app and you get from uh, 7 p.m. through till 3 a.m. on a Sunday, and that enables us then to say, cool, you're gonna get those when we know we have the most people on the app. The next section says, where are we gonna put the, app, the ad? Uh, so we've got Android, mobile web, and iOS here, so we're gonna select the banner ads for each of those. And the size of these is 320 by 50. We'll come to creative in a second, uh, but if you're going to use an image, you'll need to uh, create an image that is 320 pixels wide by 50 pixels high. Um, so it's a very small area. You don't have a lot to work with. Then you can get really nitty gritty. So you can start to say, well, I only want users located in the United States or Australia, wherever it might be. You can say specific regions. So you can go down to state or city. And then you can even go <clears throat> with the US uh, to using particular zip codes. Um, the trouble with these is that it requires that Wi-Fi is on. If uh, Wi-Fi is not enabled, then it's much harder to work out where the person is. So that's why those are there. You can then also say, well, I actually want to select um, particular carriers. Uh, again, like some of these things are only available in certain countries, so US, Canada and UK for this. Um, uh, double click for publishers. Some of the other platforms allow you to do it a bit better. Um, you know, Google uh, has a lot more information and therefore can do some, some more targeting. You can also sp uh, specify devices and stuff too, uh, but of course you can also specify uh, platforms through the, the advert that you're choosing to, to put in place too. Remember that the more you refine this, the harder it becomes for uh, the advert to actually deliver based on the targets that are provided. So obviously if you've got a, um, a very niche application, you don't have a lot of users yet, it's very likely that this won't deliver. Uh, it's even less likely if, it, uh, if you've specified some stuff in here to filter it down. Okay, uh, you can then, uh, with, uh, with, with Mopub, um, if you're gonna put this into a, um, uh, an application, you can then say, look, I only want to target users that don't have these apps. Then you can type in and say, well, which app do they have? Um, and these are the apps that you have. So that's a really good cross promotion thing if you have a number of different applications in your account. Uh, you can use their targeting uh, about names and ages and things like that as well. Uh, that's if obviously the app is set up to, to send that information through, so targeting. And then you can do frequency caps and refresh intervals and other things. So there we go. So let's just save that and we'll view the result. All right, so there it is. And there's obviously nothing uh, coming up for it yet. Now, nothing will appear yet either because we don't have any creative for it. And now we're looking at the line item. So we'll click, click uh, um, add creative. Now in this case, we're targeting uh, the 32050 banners. Um, if you select something else, they won't deliver because the ad unit doesn't support it. So we'll go for the 32050. And then you can decide um, how you want this to behave. So if it's an image, you'll need a 320 by 50 pixel image and you browse and upload that there. You can have a text uh, with title. So you might say, So you might want the user to click through to a particular page. And then write your, your text inside of the ad to make sure that uh, it is a good call to action for the user to want to click on the URL. Uh, then you click uh, choose if you want a backup image file. So this one's a, like a 40 by 40 square, goes on one side of the text. Uh, so that's what that bit's for. 
intercept URL. So if you're using a, like a referral, um, uh, like a referral or a ClickBank system or something like that, sometimes you'll find that the URL they give you will have window.location or window.open. So you'd paste that in here. Impression tracking URL. Uh, so if you have an intermediary that uh, tracks the clicks that go through here or to the result, you would put that in there. Um, the system that you're using will have instructions on how to use that. And then if you've got a, um, a conversion tracker uh, installed as well, then it will put these things in. But as it says here, if you're looking at an iTunes or Android URL, then those things will go in for you. And then you click Save. I'll now select my 40 by 40 uh, image. So I'll stick that on there and hit try again, save. So now what you'll see is we've got a creative one down here. I'm going to click preview and that'll show me what it looks like. And uh, you know, that's now like a click to download or click to visit uh, type of links. And then that is the advert that will appear at the bottom of your inventory. So from the dashboard, you'll be able to see what sort of inventory is being um, sent out in, in what kind of balance. Okay, so you'll see here that in the bottom left, you've got inventory allocation. And I'll show you the number, the percentage of impressions for each. So marketplace are the adverts that people are bidding on and uh, it, um, through the Mopub marketplace. And these are user acquisition type things and there'll be adverts for um, a user on an, uh, on an app. They will be um, targeting your application and your users and saying we'll come and uh, join our app. Uh, networks and then guaranteed is the one we've just created so you can see at the moment 0% there and then backfill promo so those are if you've got any backfill promo those are the ones that will pop up there. So uh, watch this number and uh, check it out we'll see how it goes. Cheers.